Good morning, YouTube family. Good morning. We all woke up with super big smiles this morning because we went to bed last night so close to our goal of 100,000 subscribers. Were we so close? Yes. So close. So, so close. we went to bed dreaming of 100,000 subscribers this morning and we're going to refresh our screen like we do every morning when we get up to see how many we grew overnight and we think today's our day because we were pretty close last night. Are you guys ready? Yes. Okay, so what we wanted to say, one, zero, 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 zero. 100,000, five zeros. One and five zeros, okay? okay? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Yay! Yay! We did it! So exciting! 100,000! Now we get a YouTube play button. You're right. Thanks, YouTube family. Thank you so much, everyone, for the support. We love you guys. Hi, Hi YouTube, YouTube family. family. My name is Alicia English. And I'm Philip English. Welcome back to our channel. I'm not sure if you saw in yesterday's video, but we were so tired at the end of the day that we didn't do our big camper cleanup. And we showed you a little pan of a little bit of the chaos that's going on. So we have some cleaning to do before we get painting. I feel like I have deja vu. What day is it? <laughs> day three, and he's still in the same spot. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I haven't just been doing this for three days. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I'm gonna start painting white. What do you think of that? I think I, I'm ready to see some white in here. All right, so I already have sort of like a primer and just one quick swish over a white along the top. So I'm going to start painting on the inside and then doing some more coats on the outside. Like you really could have painted right over that vinyl wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> it might bubble eventually. If like if it does, it's inside the cupboard. Cassie Skinner and her husband sent us a message. They're part of our YouTube family, and they said that they have the same camper as us, but that they noticed something in the camper that their camper doesn't have, and that was a switch on the wall in the bedroom space. And so Philip and I did a little inve investigating today <laughs> to see what this switch was. And so Philip pushed it, and we looked around to see if anything happened because we had no idea. And so here is what this magical switch does. I'm switching it to on. It's a bedroom light filled with bugs. <laughs> so this is just an on-off switch for the bedroom light. That's awesome. Super fun. I like pushing random buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Cassie and husband. We're taking off these very stripped, screwed, 
curtain rod holders that were here from the blinds. And then we have some repair work that we need to do on the corners here. But since I can see outside, I know that we need some spray foam insulation in those spots because you can clearly see there at some point was water damage there. And then also on this side, we have repair work to do back behind there. So we're just taking off some of this original hardware so I can get some of this stuff all prepped up. I don't have any spray foam insulation right now, so I'll have to get some in a couple of weeks, but those spots definitely need some care before I can get to painting those parts. Oh, more wallpaper for you to remove. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> adding my own trim around the door after different wood trim not wallpaper wood trim okay. what did you do all day oh i just removed little tiny little pieces of wallpaper <laughs> yeah welcome to my world a, minim a millimeter at a time <laughs> it's like a celebration when i get an inch at one time <laughs> Yes. Primer. I still need to putty a few spots, but I'm just going to put a primer on just so I can see if the wall leaks through the primer or not because not water leak, but the coloration of the wall. Sometimes you get bleed through. So before I do any white paint, I want to do a few coats of primer and test it out. The window frames are going to be white, so I'm just going to edge around them. doesn't really matter too much because they're going to get... I knew that was going to happen. There's no point in taping them off because they're going to be the same color, so. I saw the drip coming in slow-mo. <laughs> <laughs> See it on the side? Yeah. It was either hitting my face or my neck. <laughs> this is going to be so smooth once I have a coat or two of primer, my paint, and then possibly a stencil block. I haven't decided exactly yet, but I'm so glad we're removing the wallpaper because this is going to be flat, just as if it was a drywall wall when I'm done. You see how smooth it is just from there? Oh yeah, it's smooth. And I haven't even puttied all the little holes yet. This is just to see if it soaks through. Is on her trusty paint stool. I need primer in here to dry overnight. <laughs> I'm standing very awkwardly on my <laughs> There's nowhere to hold. <laughs> it's all wet. <laughs> I just want to get this one bit that's dripping from the roller. No dripping allowed. No drip. Uh, okay. Happy drying. Painted just as much of myself as I have the cabinets. I'm loving how much brightness the white is adding to the kitchen space and when all the window frames are white I think it's really going to come together and then don't forget I have that gorgeous antique brass hardware that's going to go on the white cabinets at the top and on the green ones on the bottom so I really am starting to see my vision come to life even just with this white primer and then of course look at this gross yellow ceiling it's definitely aged and it's going to be so much brighter in here when all of that gets painted white. Unfortunately, because it's so damp outside with the thunderstorms we've been having all day, I was only able to get one coat of primer on because it's just not drying quickly like it normally would. And so we're waiting for a drier day and I'll have to leave this overnight and hope that it's dry by morning to do another coat. And then Philip also was able to get off another whole section of this endless project he's been working on but I think now that we've gotten the primer on in the kitchen, you can really see how smooth the wall is going to be compared to if we left this textured wallpaper on because it is really textured. We had to come out and do an extra clip to put in today's video because while Philip was editing all of our clips from the work in the camper today, 
and we were about to take our time to celebrate with the kids. I was looking and replying to some of the comments that were in yesterday's video, and I came across a YouTube link, and always when people leave YouTube links in our comment section, I delete them because usually they're spam. Well, I was really pleasantly surprised when I clicked the link that I saw a comment that was left by one of our YouTube community members, and her name is Martha White. Martha and her husband created a YouTube video to celebrate and say thank you for our content and how much they enjoy watching Aww. our channel together. It is the cutest thing ever. And these are the types of things that people in our YouTube community do that like, I can't even tell you. It just lifts us up and it's, it's beautiful. Amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. amazing. It's one of our favorite things about our channel. So Martha and husband, thank you for being huge supporters of our channel. We love you guys. Today is a super exciting day, yay! We just hit our goal of 100,000 subscribers. We have 100,000 YouTube family members. Wow. We are just absolutely in shock. When we saw the numbers last night getting so close, we just, I could barely even sleep last night. I was so excited. I couldn't wait to wake up and see if we hit our goal. And so just the fact that we're at 100,000 now means that in just one year on YouTube, we were able to accomplish our goal, which I think is just pretty incredible. So those of you who don't know our story, um, we do have a video, I will put the card above for you, but just a quick recap of kind of what the year has been like for Philip and I and why this milestone means so much to our family. We just thought we would kind of share with you guys. So about a year ago, Philip and I, and the boys made in a huge move, left both of our full-time jobs, moved all the way across the country for work. Things didn't work out. Long story short, we ended up back home with zero income, used up all of our savings to get back home. We had like little to no furniture in the house. We had family help us to make sure that we had groceries in the fridge. And we just had to basically pick up our life that we had lived together for almost 18 years and start at scratch completely start at zero again and so it was at that time that we started leading with just making some samples for my handmade business and in doing that philip suggested that we film some of the things that i was doing to be able to help other people to be able to run their own handmade businesses and to be able to make extra income for their family so we were trying to make content to be able to start our youtube with absolutely zero supplies <laughs> absolutely nothing we had to come up with ways that we could make content for a channel where we also had very few viewers at that time so we were making it with the hopes and dreams that one day we would be sitting right here on this couch <laughs> saying that we hit a hundred thousand subscribers and just by uh, just a few samples i was able to get enough orders to keep us uh, afloat through christmas and yeah. our channel started picking up some subscribers pretty quickly and i think by christmas we had hit ten thousand subscribers in just three months, which was super fast. And we didn't think we would be at that. And so we had a YouTube party with the boys. And then in April, we got monetized, which was obviously a huge impact for our family that we had hit that goal of being a monetized channel because it meant that we had some revenue coming in. We made $36 in April, Woo! so um, things started very slowly and you don't all of a sudden make tons of money on YouTube. That's not really how it works. And so it was just really exciting for us to get to the point where we were able to know that eventually we could make some money for our family in addition to my handmade business through YouTube. And we found out through our YouTube channel that we loved doing this, that Philip and I have always wanted to work together from home. Yes. Like it was a dream that we had always had. Yes. And obviously to spend as much time with our children as we possibly could. That was the main goal. That was our main goal, which is why we actually moved all the way across the country in the first place, because it meant that we would have a lot more togetherness time with the four of us. And so when that didn't work out, we really had to think about how we were going to create a life that we loved which is the title of the book that I just wrote. And, and we just thought, what is the list of things that we really, really wanted to focus on to be able to create that life that we wanted for the four of us. And so, um, it's through our YouTube, um, that we've been able to do that. And so we are just so thankful. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to make it without crying, um, for everyone's support because this journey for us has been um, this year has been really long for us, but it's been so exciting. And yeah. so we're really, really proud how far we've come. Um, and we're thrilled that we're now making a full-time income for us to be able to 
um, not only provide for our family, but be all together, the four of us. And um, every day with our YouTube channel just seems to get that much better. So we have learned a lot of things this year that you don't think when you start a YouTube channel um, is really part of it. You just think you're going to make a channel, put out content, inspire some people to maybe make some extra money or do their own handmade DIY projects. Um, but you don't realize all the other lessons and parts of the journey that come along with it. Right. We've learned a lot this year through our channel. Yes. What are some of the things that we could share that we've taken away from this year? I think we've learned how to live on very minimal. For, for, Without a doubt. <laughs> right. We used to, we used to be big spenders and we've learned to not do that and that we don't need to do that. We were never like frivolous, like big ticket item spenders, but you know, buying extra things at the grocery store that maybe you don't need or, you know, buying a couple extra pairs of pants or something that you don't need or, you know, spoiling the kids a lot with things that they probably didn't need at that time and just not being really careful with every penny that we spent. And so this year we've really valued, you know, every single penny that we spend. And I think you guys can see on our channel how we do, we've always liked to reuse and upcycle and repurpose. Yeah. That was never different before we had zero dollars in the bank and had to fend and figure life out. But yeah, definitely spending less. Yeah. And then we've also learned um, just a lot about family togetherness and the important of importance of surrounding yourself with people that rise you up. And so that's something that you hear me say on our channel quite often through our journey is that we rise by lifting others. And so for me, knowing that I've been inspiring people on the other end and that through our content, we've been able to make a difference in people's lives is something that I had no idea I would really be able to do through my videos on YouTube. And so for me, that is so huge because throughout this journey that we've been on, um, we kept saying like, we want to do something that's purposeful and that's meaningful. And I feel like sitting here today, we've really accomplished that through all the emails and comments that you guys send just about how inspired you've been by some of the things and with our journey. Yeah. Um, we love hearing all of that and it makes all of the hard work that we do for our channel so worth it. Well, the power of YouTube is incredible because although we hear stories where we're helping other people, your comments and your interaction with us has helped us tremendously get through some of the hardest times of our life. Yeah. Like you, yeah. you guys are part of our family and when we read these comments they rise us up so you guys have 100 percent um done the we rise by lifting others because you guys have lifted us this entire time yes. and this is not like youtube talk through the camera like this is legit 100 mm percent -hmm. what has kept us going this whole year is all of the stuff that you guys have sent us so we love you guys we okay you we're guys. gonna stop crying thank you guys so much I think I cry in like way too many videos. <laughs> I didn't know I was a crier until we had a YouTube channel. Um, okay, so if you'd like to um, look at some of our Q&As or even more about your story, the cards are in the description will be down below because um, I know some of you have been asking where you can find that. So yeah, I'll put those down below for you guys. But Is that paint? Or gray hair. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Is the camper giving me gray hair? <laughs> oh no. Oh my goodness. I definitely have paint in my hair though. Wait, is this, is this paint? Paint or gray hair? Are you <laughs> dipping your beard in the paint again? <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, we are wishing for more sunshine. So we've asked you guys before and it seemed to work, but we need some sunshine because it is so damp out and we've had rain all night and all day. And so we're pretty limited to what we can do on the camper which is kind of okay because we actually want to do some celebrating with the kids tonight. We're hitting our milestone of 100,000 subscribers. Yes. Yay. So if you want to celebrate with us on your end, have something delicious as a dessert tonight. We're going to make some YouTube cookies and probably some desserts that the kids kind of have picked out and just celebrate with the boys tonight. So I'm pretty excited to have a little bit of downtime with them this evening. We just want to thank you guys for all of your support. You guys are just absolutely incredible. Um, we can't wait to get going on the next parts of the project. Some of this prep work for the camper is taking us a little bit of time, but I think all of this additional prep work that we're doing is going to be so worth it in the end, yeah. like removing all of that terrible wallpaper. <laughs> but all of this stuff is just the you know beginning steps for us being able to make this like the perfect camper for us. And so we want it to last for a really long time. 
and do everything right by properly prepping and sanding and priming and getting all that kind of boring work done. So I am going to be showing you guys in one of our upcoming videos what my vision is for the camper because you guys keep asking me, what is it that's in my head that this is gonna look like? And so um, probably tonight, later on, I'm gonna put together a little bit of an inspiration board to be able to show you guys in our next video so you can kind of see what I'm looking at because I have some ideas. And then of course, there'll be some ideas that I kind of come up with along the way that you know, we'll just kind of be random along, along the way. But we have a bunch of material set aside and so we're going to be planning our projects for this week for the camper. So if you are enjoying this series and you're not already part of our 100,000 YouTube Ooh. subscribers, yay! What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? for? <laughs> so please click the subscribe button if you're enjoying this content and thank you to everyone who's remembering to hit the like button and to comment to show YouTube that you guys are enjoying our content because it helps YouTube share our videos. So. Thank you guys so much. We will see you on tomorrow's video. Love you. Love you.